Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are back again taking a look at another awesome tweak that I really think you guys should check out. Now, let's get directly into things, but before we do, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest jailbreaking news. Of course, don't forget to check our jailbreak status checker pages if you have an A12 device so you guys can be notified the second the jailbreak utility is updated for the latest iPhone XS, XS Max, and XR. All right, well, let's get directly into this video. So let me go ahead and pick up my iPhone so I can show you guys exactly what is going on here. Today's tweak that we're talking about regards the dock. Now I'm sure at first glance you guys are like, yes, I've heard of floating dock. I've heard of floaty dock. They both bring the iPad style dock to the iPhone. Well, in today's video, we're gonna be addressing floating dock plus. Now this one is a paid tweak, but it is well worth the $1.49 for these awesome new features. Most importantly, we have multitasking, but the second major thing that I wanted to show you guys right here is there's also dock gestures as well and a bunch of other stuff you can do with this tweak. So let me just show you guys a little bit about what I'm talking about. So going into the settings real fast, you can enable dock and switcher. So when you pull up, you have your dock in your multitasking pane right there. Now here comes the good part we have dock gestures. So it says left to right swipe is notification center, right to left is the control center, and then you even have a swipe up and swipe down and a double tap gesture as well. And like I was showing you guys earlier, we also have these awesome multitasking options that is currently in beta, but you can still enable and test out on a couple apps if you guys really want to. Well, let me go ahead and start this video off by showing you guys some of the dock gestures. Now on the dock itself, we can swipe up, swipe down, left and right. So if we swipe up, that goes directly into our multitasking pane. So it's pretty much the same thing as swiping all the way from the bottom, but now we can just swipe on the dock. Makes it a little bit easier to actually pull up the multitasking pane. Now, if we swipe to the right, that actually brings up the notification center. So a quick way to get back to the lock screen. And then if we swipe left, this actually brings up the control center. So really quick and easy way to access the control center instead of going all the way to the top to bring it down, we can just swipe over on the dock. And then another quick one is if we swipe down, that actually brings up reachability. And there are quite a few tweaks that you can actually place up in the reachability area. So if you guys have one of those enabled, that's a really easy way to pull up that tweak. All right, so those were some of the basic new features, but here is the beta one that I really am excited about, especially on larger devices like the iPhone XS. I can't wait till this supports that. Anyway, let me go ahead and show you guys this. So if I go ahead and pull up Spotify right here, for example, you of course can do this with Apple Music or pretty much any application. Um, granted, your results may vary. Let's go ahead and put the phone into landscape mode. So here I have a list of all my songs, but there is a lot of unused space. Well, if I just swipe up on the dock to pull that up right there, click on my messages app, drag and drop. Now it pulls up my messages right there. And so I can drag this around or I can bring it into its own window. Now this is multitasking just like on the iPad. It's multi-touch enabled. I can do both Spotify as well as my messages right there. I think this one looks absolutely fantastic on the iPhone. But again, this still is in beta. It's still pretty hard to use. There are quite a few glitches. Not too many apps are currently supported, but for how well this works, I was super impressed with it. This is probably the best multitasking tweak on the iPhone 10 right now. And with a bigger screen size, like on the iPhone 10R or iPhone 10S Max, this tweak is really going to shine. As you guys can see, some of the menu icons right here kind of get messed up. But like I said, this is the very first release. This is kind of just a beta feature on top of everything else this tweak does. And for $1.49, that's some great multitasking in its beta stages. Anyway, new dock gestures, beta multitasking, and of course, all of the other features that you guys have come to love with floating dock like adding more icons to your dock than four, so I can add a fifth one or even more right there. And then of course it brings up your recently used applications. We were just in the settings app. 
And the cool thing about this tweak is it also brings up continuity applications as well. So if on the computer I'm say in Safari or in Mail, the Mail icon will pull up right there as well if I'm on my MacBook. Anyway, just a super awesome update to the floating dock tweak that I wanted to share with you guys in today's video. This of course can be found on Pack IX again for $1.49 for all of these premium features. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, definitely like, comment, and subscribe before you head out. Again, if you're on the iPhone XS, XS Max, or XR, or the 2018 iPad Pro, support is going to be coming for you guys very soon. And if you guys don't want to miss out, definitely bookmark our A12 jailbreak status checker page before you go. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. But until next time, this is Tony signing out. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today, I'm gonna talk about two awesome tweaks that I really think you guys should check out that bring iOS 12.2 features to iOS 12 to 12.1.2. So one of them is actually on display now. It's the redesigned about section within the settings app. And then the second major feature that you guys are going to be able to bring to your jailbreak are the brand new emojis like the shark, the owl, we have a giraffe, and of course the boar. Now these four emojis were introduced in iOS 12.2, but I'm gonna show you guys how you can easily get them today with one tweak to bring them to iOS 12 to 12. 1.2. Of course, to get this feature in particular, you have to have a device with Face ID like the iPhone 10, 10s, 10s Max, or 10R in the very near future. All right, well, before we begin, I wanted to let everyone know that you can find all of the tweaks and repos down below in this video's description. Basically, just install those. We're going to install two tweaks, and you're going to be well on your way to having the latest iOS 12.2 features on your iPhones. All right, and lastly, before we begin, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe this video to stay updated with the latest jailbreaking news. All right, well, this video shouldn't be too long or painful. The first tweak that I wanted to talk about in this video is called What About This? And this is by Nepa to Dev. Of course, this is the one that brings the redesigned settings app to your guys' iPhone and to this jailbreak. It places the most important information right here at the top, and it just reorganizes the About section within the settings app. All right, well, let's go ahead and talk about the second tweak in today's video that brings the iOS 12.2 Animojis to older firmwares. All right, and that tweak is called Animoji 12.2, and it's by this developer right here. Now, as you guys can see, this brings some of the new Animojis to the iPhone 10 on iOS 12 to 12.1.2. Now, just to demo that one more time, if I go into the Messages app and go into Animoji, as you guys can see, we have the boar Animoji right there. That one's pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, it's not picking up my face too well behind the camera, but we also have the giraffe. That one's pretty sweet as well. The owl, and of course, the shark. And it's just amazing to see all of the emojis now coming from iOS 11.3.1, where, where I was missing out on even these emojis. It's amazing that I have the latest emojis on my iPhone now. And of course, as you guys can see, it is currently jailbroken. Now, lastly, in this video, I'm sure I'm going to get a bunch of questions as to what my wallpaper is on my device and where I got it. And both my lock screen as well as my home screen, both of these wallpapers are from the new stock wallpapers found on the Galaxy S10s. And so just do a quick Google search for that. I think they look pretty dang sweet on the iPhone as well, especially with the fluid widget going on in the background. It just looks super sweet and goes really well with this widget. Anyway guys, just for shits and giggles, I'll link that down below in this video's description as well. But the two main features I wanted to talk about with you guys in today's video were of course the new emojis and what about this to bring some of the latest iOS 12.2 features to your iOS 12 to 12.1.2 
jailbreak. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this quick video. If you enjoyed it, definitely hit that like button. Go ahead and comment with your favorite tweak or with anything you would like to see from us. Again, definitely subscribe for the latest jailbreaking updates before you go. But until next time, this is Tony signing out.